This is Scott again from Side of Hills Christian Camp down here in Southern Ohio and I want to give you our weekly update here. Um, we hope that uh, you folks are doing well. We hope that your family is safe and that uh, you're having your needs met at this time. Our staff is doing fine. Uh, we are trying to do the social distancing thing which is really weird. Uh, for us, but we are functioning, we're not meeting as often, and we're keeping our space. We are getting some projects done and uh, continuing to move toward our plans for the summer. Uh, Scioto County, just this last Saturday, had its first um, case, uh, positive case of COVID-19. So we're not sure how that is going to go. We know that these next seven days, not just for our country, but for our area specifically, are very crucial. And so we're hoping that uh, uh, it will not become a very big thing here in Southern Ohio. And I know that you're hoping that the COVID-19 uh, virus will uh, soon be a thing of the past. But I want to remind you that there's a difference between being hopeful or having wishful thinking and actually having your hope based on biblical truth. There is a difference. Um, we may say, uh, I hope that uh, we get to go to Disney World this summer, or I sure hope that the COVID-19 virus uh, soon passes, or uh, I hope we can get back to the way things were uh, before um, this virus hit, or I for sure hope that we are going to have summer camp. But there's a difference between just being hopeful or wishing something to happen and actually something being uh, true. Biblical hope is having a, a confident expectation uh, of something to be true based on the promises given to us from God's Word. We can have a positive attitude about the things in life, but when we talk about biblical hope, it's more of a certain expectation. So it's more like I know for certain that the Lord is going to sustain me and care for me during these days. I know for certain that my life is hidden in Christ and that I have the hope of eternal life someday. I know someday he is going to come back for me and I'm certain that that is guaranteed because it is a expectation grounded in God's word. And so that's a different kind of hope uh, because it's a certainty. It's a, I know so, not a, I hope so. Um, Peter calls it a living hope in his epistle. And he says that it's a living hope that uh, is based on the resurrection of Christ from the dead. And it's a living hope that guarantees that we have an inheritance someday. It is rooted, he says later on in the chapter, uh, based on not perishable things like silver and gold, but it is rooted on uh, the concept or the idea that uh, we were bought or ransomed with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. So while I'm hopeful, and I need to be, and you need to be hopeful, um, and I hope that uh, things get better soon, I am not certain about those things. But in the meantime, I will hope and place my trust in the promises of God's Word. As you face this week, and as we prepare for Easter uh, Sunday, um, I trust that you too are finding your certain expectation in the resurrected Savior. So let me just give you an update here. Uh, we are encouraged that the April 30th date hasn't been extended any further into May yet. Uh, we believe that to be hopeful. We are taking, again, as we've said, this one week at a time. We have some key trigger dates uh, that we're looking at making uh, some important decisions. Uh, we are right now uh, planning to have summer camp. We are thinking through a number of scenarios that that may uh, look like or may be required of us. And so we've actually developed a plan A, B, and C, and there may even be a plan D uh, in the works. Uh, May 17th, folks, will be a big decision date for us. I know for other camps as well, but we are going to 
make a decision that day about our plan for the summer and we will then make a decision uh, week by week for the summer as to how that will play out. Um, let me encourage you during this time to please pray for us as we make those uh, important decisions and move forward. Let me also encourage you not to jump ship. If you registered for summer camp, that's great. If you haven't registered, then please do so because that will really help us as we plan and try to be uh, prepared for the proper number of, of campers that we will have. Let me also just say that uh, if you have fallen on hard times, and you really do need to have uh, your deposit refunded, then we will do that. Uh, our desire is to be able to keep that right now as we anticipate uh, our summer schedule. Uh, but you can call the office if, if that's the case with you, and that will help you. You can always uh, re-register at a later date. I want to stay in touch with you. We'll continue to do the weekly videos and the weekly update on our website. Um, and uh, in the meantime, uh, we hope uh, that some of these things we're doing online uh, uh, are going to help. Uh, we did, had a great time with our coloring contest last week. We've got some new activities planned. I'm telling you, the one that's been made for this week is pretty awesome, and you'll want to check that out. And then we'll continue to do the Tuesday, Thursday little morning Bible studies, which are, are really designed for not just uh, kids but for family. And uh, we pray that, and hope that you will... Uh, participate in those and those will be an encouragement to you. In the meantime, keep washing your hands, keep your distance, and uh, may you be trusting in the living hope that we have in Christ because he has been resurrected from the dead. And uh, may the Lord bless you this week. Thank you. Mm -hmm.